They've only gone and done it again. Signia have released five new hearing aids as of today, and I've got to tell you, I'm pretty excited by them. Three weeks ago, I had the pleasure of being invited to the Signia HQ to get the mow down on this latest technology, and I've been sworn to silence until now. Meet the Signia Pure Charge and Go IX, the Pure Charge and Go TIX, the Pure Charge and Go IX Cross, and last but definitely not least, the Silk Charge and Go IX and the Silk Charge and Go IX Cross. Uh huh, that's right, you heard me correctly. I said Silk Charge and Go IX, meaning that these are the world's first rechargeable CIC hearing aids. So, in my opinion, you should definitely stick around to learn whether they're suitable for you what their unique features are for improving your hearing, especially with their new technology focusing on background noise, and finally, what I hope Signia have done better than when they released their last round of new hearing aid technology. Now, by the way, if you haven't yet figured this out for yourself, this is the first place that you'll hear about new hearing aid technology. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you should 100% click just here, and you'll be notified as soon as any new hearing aid technology is released. As of the 5th of September 2023, you'll be able to get your hands on Signia's new IX family of hearing aids, which stands for Integrated Experience. These five new hearing aids will supersede their AX receiver and canal hearing aids, which were released in May 2021, and the Signia Silk X, which was released way back when in the summer of 2020. The Silk X never actually made it to the AX platform, so it's been long overdue for an update. Yet despite that, they still made it into my best invisible hearing aids for 2023. However, I rightly predicted that there would soon be something new in the pipeline from Signia, and I'm delighted to say that here it is. However, today's announcement is way more exciting than I could have ever predicted. So let's dive into some of the details on this new chip. It runs all of the same features as its predecessor, the AX chip, however, with a few key developments. These new hearing aids will analyze 192,000 data points per second related to your environment deciding on the most appropriate way for the hearing aids to react to optimize the listening situation for you. And when I explain how they do this, it's going to blow your mind. Directional beamforming, in a nutshell, is when the microphones on your hearing aids work together when you're in a noisy environment, and they heavily focus on what's in front of you with the view to avoid picking up sounds that you're not looking at. So if you're in a restaurant, for example, they aim to focus the microphone on the person sat in front of you. Now, for any seasoned experts out there, you'll know that this concept isn't new whatsoever. However, Signia are boasting that they've taken this technology to the next level with their new real-time conversation enhancement technology. I've got that right the first time. This analyzes, augments, and adapts the dynamic flow of conversations, meaning that these hearing aids not only focus the microphones forwards when you're in background noise, but this is the clever part. They're also capable of accurately pinpointing multiple moving speakers in real time conversations and adapting the microphones to follow those conversations. Wow. So I guess the big question is, what does that mean for you? Signia claim that with this faster processing, the hearing aids are not only detecting who you're speaking to, but also monitoring their movement and in fact, locking onto them and then updating the microphone position a thousand times per second tracking and highlighting each person speaking amongst the background noise and then adapting to their movement, which should allow you to more easily follow conversations with minimal effort in background noise. Signia studies show that with this technology, 95% of their participants showed improved performance with this feature enabled. I mean, if this is true, then this is officially game-changing technology. So let's take a look at them, starting with the Pure Charge and Go IX and the Pure Charge and Go TIX. You'll see that they're both receiver and canal styles and therefore suitable if you have a mild, moderate, severe or profound hearing loss. Both hearing aids sport built-in Bluetooth to allow you to directly connect your hearing aids to your iPhone and Android smartphones. And they're both fully rechargeable, with the Pure Charge and Go providing 24 hours of runtime on a single charge and the Pure Charge and Go TIX a whopping 34 hours per charge. Of the two, only the Pure Charge and Go TIX has a built-in telecoil which allows you to connect to loop systems installed in public venues. If you're not familiar with the benefits of a loop system, then check out this brilliant overview on how they work and how to access them, which I'll link in the description to today's video. And finally, they're both cross compatible, which I'll come on to shortly. Now, of course, I'm incredibly excited by these new receiver and canal models of hearing aids and their new features for background noise. But at the same time, there's one thing that they're not. 
And that's the world's first and only rechargeable, completely in canal prescription hearing aids, such as the Signia Silk Charge and Go IX. Now, differently to other CIC hearing aids, these are ready to wear devices and therefore don't require an impression to be taken of your ear with interchangeable domes for the end to suit the shape and size of your ear. A single charge will give you 24 hours of life, and for the first time they come with a neat little case which has three days worth of power built in so that you can charge on the go. In my opinion, there is no question that these are going to be a hit, as clearly Signia are looking to other industries and continuing to bridge the gap between hearing aid technology and other earbud technology. Now the discretion does come at a cost, however, and the Signia silks don't have Bluetooth capabilities. So if you're interested in streaming phone calls or media, such as the radio, music, or podcasts, your hearing aids from your phone, then a pure charge and go will be the most appropriate option for you. Now, if you're also sat there wondering what all this talk is about the pure charge and go iX Cross and the Silk iX Cross, then I'll fill you in on the last two hearing aids being launched today. These cross systems are designed for somebody with an unaidable hearing loss in one ear, i.e. no hearing at all, and either normal hearing or a hearing loss that requires a hearing aid in the other. A cross system is essentially a transmitter that detects any sound that arrives on your poor hearing side, and then it transmits it wirelessly to the better hearing ear, giving you access to the world of sound around you in 360 degrees. And they can have a really positive impact. So for example, if you're sat in the passenger seat of a car with your unaidable ear towards the driver, a cross system would transmit the driver's voice to a hearing aid in your better hearing ear, thus allowing you to hear them. Is that cool or what? The Silk wins another point here now for not only being the only CIC cross system that's out there, but also the world's first rechargeable CIC cross hearing aid. So my only request to Signia is please, please, please make sure there's plenty of stock ready as this tech sounds pretty awesome and I just hope you can keep up with the demand. Not that this has ever been an issue in the past, has it, Signia? I'm excited to get them into a few years, and you should definitely be excited to try them out. Let's hope that they live up to the hype. Out of curiosity for anybody watching, which is the most appealing to you? The discretion of silk or the Bluetooth and noise reduction features of the Pure Charge and Go? Let me know in the comments beneath this video, and I'll reply with my thoughts. So that just about summarizes Signia's latest release. Press like if this video was useful and to be notified of my full detailed feature reviews on these hearing aids when they come out. And then make sure you subscribe by pressing this circle just here and I'll see you in the next video.